Daily Bonus. So 25 years ago tonight, an infamous and violent F5 tornado devastated the south side of Oklahoma City. Uh, the 1999 Moore, Oklahoma tornado had wind speeds of 300 miles an hour, and it just absolutely demolished many structures in the city. It was on the ground for 38 miles, it destroyed thousands of homes, it killed 36 people, caused a billion dollars in damage. Now, the tornado was part of a much larger outbreak, which produced 71 tornadoes across five states. And then, would you believe this? In 2013, so not many years later, another EF5 tornado devastated the exact same cities again. So we're going to be talking about tornadoes. And across the United States, since 1899, there have been about 101 EF5 tornadoes. And as you can see, there were none in the state of Florida. Most of them in Tornado Alley, the Plain States, the Midwest, and also the Southeast. Now, that got me thinking, what was the strongest tornado ever to hit Florida? It was right here on top of the Bay Area and Central Florida, went from Largo all the way across the peninsula to Coco. It was on the ground for about 136 miles. It had winds 200 to about 260 miles an hour, and it caused over 3,000 injuries. I want to show you a couple of pictures uh, that w in the way that it looked across the Tampa Bay Area. You could see it right there, and it just devastated our area. Uh, and this was a very rare tornado. We do not often see tornadoes this big around our area, and we hopefully will never see one that large again. Hopefully. And when you look at the national picture, of course, Texas leads the way with 136 tornadoes per year on average, Kansas City right behind them. But we do make the top five-ish there here in Florida with 57 tornadoes on average per year, but the vast majority of those are water spouts, of course. Yeah, small tornadoes, but if you think about it, Florida is four times less the size of Texas. So we actually, if you, if you add it up, we'd actually see more tornadoes if we were as large as Texas. That